I don't need no machine shop to do my valve guides. I can just knock them in myself and lap the valve in. I got my hammer and chisel knocking these guides in. Don't need no machine shop to tell me how to do this. Fixing to lap these valves in. I'll be good to go. Don't need no machine shop to give me a valve job. I'll be racing to everybody on the feeder. Don't be like that guy. Watch the following video and I'll tell you why. There is mainly two types of valve guides. First up is steel. We love steel because it's longer lasting and that's why most of the OEs use it. But it does have its drawbacks. There's more friction and it can break. And when it breaks, it goes into your engine. Next up we have bronze. Bronze guides have a natural lubricity, so they offer less friction. They also take heat away from the valve. And they won't break, they just wear. Sure they wear faster than a cast guide, but in most cases this is nothing to worry about. The inner diameter of the valve guide needs to be machined to set clearance to the outer diameter of the valve. When they come from the manufacturer, usually the guide hole is small. But when it's done right, the valves will just drop in. Now that the guide is machined, the valve job can be performed. There is a pilot that goes in the guide that centers the cutter to the valve seat. Once cut, the valve is now married to the seat and ready for install. Thanks for watching our short little video on valve guides. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can enjoy more educational videos that we'll be putting out. Have a nice day.